a survey was conducted at a local ballroom dance studio asking 70 students if they had ever competed in the following dance categories. Smooth, rhythm, standard. Use the Venn diagram to determine the probabilities. Express the probabilities as percentages rounded to the tenths place value, which means we'll have to first get the decimal to three decimal places. Notice how we have conditional probability here. Looking at our notes below, the probability that event B occurs, given that event A has happened, is represented using this notation here, which is read the probability of B given A, or the probability of B given A has occurred. We can also use this formula here to determine conditional probability, but in our case, it'll be easier just to use the Venn diagram. So we're first asked to find the probability a student competed in rhythm given they competed in smooth. Since we are given they competed in smooth, we are only concerned about the students in the smooth set, which is this set here. The number of students that competed in smooth is equal to 8 plus 11 plus 14 plus 13, which is 46. 46 students competed in smooth. And we're asked to find the probability a student competed in rhythm given they competed in smooth. So notice of this set, the subset that competed in rhythm would be in this subset here, where there are 11 plus 14, or 25 students. So of the 46 students that competed in smooth, 25 of them also competed in rhythm, and therefore the probability a student competed in rhythm, given they competed in smooth, is 25 out of 46, or 25 46. And now let's convert this to a decimal to three decimal places so that we can have the percent to one decimal place or the tenths. 25 divided by 46 is approximately 0 0.543, which is 54.3%. Next, we're asked to find the probability a student competed in rhythm given they competed in standard. So because we are given they competed in standard, we're only concerned about the number of students in the standard set, which is this set here. The number of students that competed in standard is equal to 13 plus 14 plus 4 plus 12, which is equal to 43. Because we're asked to find the probability a student competed in rhythm, given they competed in standard, we need to find the subset of this set that competed in rhythm which is this subset here. These are the students that competed in standard and also competed in rhythm. And there are 14 plus 4, or 18 students in this subset. So again, because we're asked to determine the probability a student competed in rhythm, given they competed in standard, the probability is equal to 18 out of 43, or 18 40 thirds. which is approximately 0 0.419, which is equal to 41.9%. Next, we're asked to find the probability a student competed in standard given they competed in rhythm. So we're only concerned about the students that competed in rhythm, which are in this set here. Eleven plus seven plus fourteen plus four is equal to thirty-six. So we know thirty-six students competed in rhythm. And because we're asked to find the probability a student competed in standard, given they competed in rhythm, we need to find the subset of this set where the students also competed in standard, which are the students in this subset here. These students competed in rhythm and also competed in standard. And 14 plus 4 is 18, so we have 18 students in this subset. Which means the probability a student competed in standard, given they competed in rhythm, is 18 out of 36, or 18 36, which simplifies to 1 half, which is equal to 0 0.5, which is equal to 50%. And now for the last question, we're asked to find the probability a student competed in rhythm given they competed in smooth or standard. So we're only concerned about the students that competed in smooth or standard, which are found in the union of the smooth and standard sets. So the students that competed in smooth or standard are in this set here. Now 
and there are 8 plus 11 plus 14 plus 13 plus 4 plus 12 students in this set, which is equal to 62 students. And since we're asked to find the probability a student competed in rhythm, given they competed in smoother standard, we need to find the subset of this set that represents the students that also competed in rhythm. So the students that competed in smoother standard that also competed in rhythm are in this subset here. Eleven plus fourteen plus four is equal to twenty-nine. So there are twenty-nine students in this subset. These are the students that competed in smoother standard and also rhythm, which means the probability a student competed in rhythm, given they competed in smoother standard, is twenty-nine out of sixty-two, or twenty-nine sixty seconds. which is approximately 0 0.468, which is equal to 46.8%. I hope you found this helpful.